BioVi is creating healthcare solutions, enabling people to live healthier and better lives, particularly people and families that are dealing with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. And with me is Kong Do, the CEO of BioV. Great to have you here in the studio. Great to see you again, yeah. Jane. So now you recently participated in the International Association of Parkinson's and Related Disorders, IAPRD. Explain that event. This is one of the three biggest um, events in the Parkinson's world. So it's their clinicians and Re the top researchers and experts in mm -hmm. Parkinson's all attend to okay. learn what's the latest in Parkinson's. So, and um, did you present some of your findings or what's your role with the CBET? Our team presented um, our plans for the next set of clinical trials for our drug candidate, NE3107, which I personally believe could become the first new treatment for Parkinson's since the drug levodopa was introduced 50 years ago. 50? Yes. Okay. So we shared some of our clinical trial findings, one of which we were most excited about is how a significantly greater number of patients taking our drug candidate were able to get out of bed in the morning. Now that sounds simple to you and I, right? But the problem is Parkinson's patients tend to have their drug wear off overnight. Levodopa wears off overnight. So that when they wake up in the morning, mm. their muscles are in what's known as the morning off state. So it's locked. So they can't move their muscle and they can't get out of bed. Mm. Whereas those that were taking our drug with Levodopa were able to get out of bed. It's a big deal, right? And that's why our KOLs are really excited about that. No, sure. That's, I mean, it's independence that you know, people need yeah. for their, you know, mental health and just, you know, their life. Exactly. So it makes their life better. Exactly. So um, now is this also attacking inflammation like the Alzheimer's disease? It is exactly that. Okay. It, that's, so we spend a lot of time addressing how the drug works and how it reduces something called TNF-alpha, which then reduces all the downstream effects of that. Okay. Um, now, um, June is also Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness mm -hmm. Month. Uh, so any events or news planned associated with that? Yes, we're excited to host a KOL event on inflammation and Alzheimer's, right? So we will announce some additional details of that soon. So that will be in the month of June. We will have a few experts mm -hmm. in the field discuss why inflammation is so important and how it's so related to Alzheimer's. And we will also be um, hosting a few events through Social Impact Partners, which is a nonprofit that we support. And they'll be discussing the importance of brain health and holding some conventions and, um, and events. Well, and I know from our past discussions that your clinical trials have shown even some reversal of Alzheimer's. So, you know, I've had Alzheimer's in my family, so that's an amazing, that's, that's unique. I've never even heard of that. So I, I, can you elaborate on that a little bit? You have a great memory there. <laughs> uh, in our phase two trial, we saw that patients who were taking our drug candidate, any 3107 saw a reversal of their cognitive decline. Right? It's not a slowing of the decline that you may have read about some other recently approved drug. It is a reversal of the cognitive decline. So we're excited to hopefully see that result when our phase three pivotal trial reads out later on this year. Okay, so that trial will start later this year. That tri the trial I'm referring to has already started. Already started. It's okay. fully enrolled now and the trial will end in September, so we hope to have results available in October, November of this okay. year. Okay, right? and then if, say those results also are successful and continue to show improvement, then what is next, FDA submission or? If we get the strong results like we saw in the phase two, we are very much planning to go and have the discussion with the FDA. Okay. Well, good luck with that. And please come back and let us know when those results come out. That's huge. So how do people get more information about BioV? How do they learn more about your different treatments? Yeah. Um, you can go to biovpharma.com to learn more about our drug or how it works. And most importantly, you can go there to learn more about the two clinical trials that we will be starting this summer. One for something called MCI or mild cognitive impairment. So think of it as pre-Alzheimer's. Okay. And then the other is for Parkinson's. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in the studio. It's great to have you here, Colin. All right. Thank you so much for having me, uh -huh. Jen.